Fucked Up Card Pack. <clears throat> Happy Saturday to you. Uh, it's a snowy, snowy Seattle here today. It is, um, it's very interesting. I'm from the Midwest, so I'm used to snow, but it does, just doesn't happen very much here, so things just kind of shut down. Even though it's a nice, healthy snow day, I'd say we got maybe six inches. Anyways, today we're going to look at the top ten most selling basketball cards. So we're going to look at the ones that literally had the most sales over the last week. This is a good indicator to see what's the market buying, what's the market selling. Mostly what is it buying because we're looking at the ones that sold. So these are the ones that are selling the most. Um, before we get into that, I want to remind you of the Sports Card Society. Where almost every day I make an exclusive sports card investment video outlining a sports card opportunity that I find that I think is really good. And I lay out all the research and data as to why. For instance, this uh, back on January 29th, Recommended the Michael Jordan Skybox 1990 PSA 9. We were getting it for about 45 bucks. Today, uh, it's going for, you know, around 75 bucks. That's a decent... Re oh, actually, that's not even today. Whoops, my bad. I was going to say, it's going for more than that. It's going for over 100 bucks. Uh, today, it's going for around, you know, 120 bucks. So that's pretty good. Uh, 45 bucks to 120 in a month. I would recommend this Chipper Jones. Back here in late January, if we are getting for about 80 bucks. Today it's going for, you know, around almost 200 bucks. Uh, I recommend this 2008 LeBron James Tops PSA 9. We're getting it for about 110, 120 bucks. Today she's going for around 400 bucks. Let me show you one more. Kobe Bryant Z Force PSA 9 rookie. We're getting it for about 160 bucks. Today it's going for. Um, 500 bucks probably went for over 500 bucks there. So a lot of good uh, stuff going on in there. Plus to get access to a private Discord group filled with really good, really active, really smart, really helpful sports card investors. Um, and it's a private group, and that alone is worth the admission of entry. And then you get discount PSA grading too. You get 20-day PSA grading for $25 and five-day grading for $70. If you go to the PSA website here. You'll see that they're at AF 25 day for 50 and 15 day for 75. So a lot of good value there. I'm gonna be raising the price on the Sports Card Society soon. It's only nine dollars ninety nine cents a month or ninety nine dollars a year. But I'm gonna be raising that soon before the end of the month. So if you want to lock that in, get it going, baby. Link is in the description. SportsCardSociety.com. All right, uh, let's dive into the data. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already and click that bell. And please, by all means, for the love of God, give this video a like. All right, here we are. We're in the Market Movers tool. I've pulled up sales volume by card, basketball, and the grade PSA 10 over the last seven days. The number one most selling card was the Zion Williamson 2019 Prism Base PSA 10. Overall, it's gone up 3%, selling for an average of about 605. Let's pull up its chart. Let me get some coffee. while we wait for this chart to pull on up. So this card overall, yep, started the week at 587. Had a someone got a deal there and then it sold about a little over 605. So that went about 3% on the week. Total pop count of 15,474. If you don't know what that means, it means that this card in the grade PSA 10, there are 15,474 of them in existence currently. Interesting. Let's chart this card back 30 days. And see what it's done. Because I'm starting to feel like this card actually might be a buy now. So I've been waiting for them to kind of hit their bottom. And I feel like this may be the bottom. Start of the month at 741 has been going down, 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 down. But as you see here on in this past oh, a week or so, this card's been pretty flat. Right? Start of the week. I'm all, more than that. Start of the month at 608. And today... You know, almost 10 days later, it's still at about the same price, 605. So I feel like it's bottomed out. And as we get closer, as we gain certainty, clarity as to who's going to be in the playoffs, cards, historically speaking in basketball, will start ticking back up. Same thing with football, same thing with baseball. Um, typically, most cards will go up leading up to the season. And then when the season actually starts, they will kind of tick down like you see here. Because there's just not much to get hyped about, not much to get excited about. I mean, unless they have really good games, they start really outperforming expectations and their cards go up. But they kind of go down until we get gain clarity or at least a good idea of who's going to be in the playoffs. And Zion 
Could the Pelicans make the playoffs? They could. Are we sure they will? No. But nonetheless, it looks to me like the market has said, this is about as low as we're going to go. Let's go to eBay real quick. So if you wanted to get it, because the price, Zion Prism, I believe, at its height got over a G. We can pull it up. Ooh, baby. It's so hard to pull these up because... Oh, it's just so hard to pull these up because everyone and their dog uses Prism in their listing, even though it has nothing to do with it. So 639, that seems about in line. 10 watchers on that. Got some auctions going on. I'd probably go after some auctions. Well, depends on what you find for the buy it now. But there's some good auctions going on. Plenty of opportunity to get this card. This one's ending today, less than eight hours at 510. I expect it to go somewhere around 600 based on the data. 639. So it looks like there's some good opportunities to get this card, but it does seem like we're in the bottom to me. Let's pull this thing back 90 days so I can show you what I'm talking about even more. Load, load, load. See, this is going to be lead up to the season. Right there, right when the season started is where it hit its height. Almost 1000 bucks, And then it's been going down ever since. And now, like I said, the last 10 days it seems to have flatlined. Uh, so that is an indicator to me that it's probably at its bottom. And it's also below where it was before the season started. So that also gives me strength that this is probably the bottom. So if you wanted to get a Zion Prism card, PSA 10, um, the data shows me now is the time. So I'll leave a link to this, uh, this refined search up here in the description. And you can just click that and go to that refined search because it's such a mess to find Prism cards. Um, all right, let's go to the next card on the list, and that is Luka Doncic, 130 for his 2018 Prism. These aren't big surprises to me. I feel like this card may have kind of hit its bottom too. Let's take a look, because this card is at its height been up to 2,000. So on a percentage basis, the Zion and Luka seem to have gone down about the same percentage. So let's it started the week at 1390, ended the week at about 1390 so it went down to a low of 1284 but the market said nope i'm not going to sell for that low we're going up and i expect this to kind of go up and down and up and down in this range let's pull this thing back let's look at that luca card real quick there's almost 16,000 of these now so him and uh him and zion let's go back 90 days seem to be about the same pop count 90 days ago, it was 1,500. Got to a height of just under 2,000, it looks like. And it's been going down. And it has definitely went below where it was 90 days ago. So that might be an interesting buy if you can get it for 1,300 or less. Let's go to eBay quick and see what's up. Some good auctions going on that are ending. here yeah, a lot of auctions yeah a lot of auctions going on let's find a buy it now Z. Eight, two days left let's keep looking that person is just kind of asking too high that's just going to chill I'll leave a link to this one too. 2000 not going to happen. If I click buy it now, will eBay go dumb on me? Yeah, it did. So I'll leave a link to this Luca too. It looks like there may be some opportunity in his cards based on the data. I don't see it going much lower than this. I thought that, I felt like 2000 was just too high. And now it's come down to, I think, a more true price. So now, as again, if you, now Mavs have not been performing like without. Luca's been doing great. But the Mavs have not been doing what we thought they would do. So I'm not sure if you think they'll make the playoffs, this will definitely go up. But even if they get close to getting to the playoffs, I expect this to go. Because I just don't see this card going down much lower than this. So if there was, you were going to buy a Luca Prism, um, this may be the time. I'll leave a link to this one in the description also. Ja, 2019 Prism. He's down 15.5% on the week. Let's pull that up. That's the biggest uh, down we've seen so far on the charts. We're only at number three. Seven to go. Pulling on up. Started the week at 552. 
and ended the week at 485 with a low sale of 464. Pop count of 13,544. What's up, Jaw? Let's go to eBay. Thirty-eight, four hundred. A lot of auctions going on again. I expect a lot of auctions to be going on here. Let's look. Let's look. Now, a whole lot of auctions to get involved in, um, which only helps people actually in the auctions because there's so many to choose from. I'm going to leave a link to this one too, because why not? Again, I think let's pull this back 90 days. I feel like this is like again, like all these guys, especially if you think they're going to make the playoffs, this may be the time to get in because I just don't see their cards going much lower. So, Jaw back here was at 450. Looks like he's hit that bottom. He hit his height back here at 832, actually in season, um, because he, you know, he came back. He hit well, he started off really hot, right? Like 40 point game. And it made his cards just jump up like crazy to almost 800. Then he got hurt and it went down, down, down. Then he came back and it's been going up and now it's been going down again. Down to about 460. So this might be the time to hop in and get a jaw too because he's sitting down here about where he was 90 days ago. Will this go lower? I don't know if it will because again, I'm kind of comparing him to Zion. And if Zion's are going for about 600 and jaws are going for sub 500. I just don't see the market allowing that to happen too much. So I think that this is, because for the same reasons, I think that Zion and Luca and Ja, I think Prism has basically hit its bottom. So I'll put a link in the description of this one too. I just don't see it going lower. Not much lower anyways. Um, Zion, again, 2019 Optic Base PS10. This one's up 9.3%. So that's an interesting piece of data too. $210. Let's pull up it's his chart. For this card, Zion listening to balls talking to him. He's listening to what's going on. Much lower pop count than the Prism, and this one is just yeah, this one's just gone up this week. That's interesting. A lower pop count than the Prism, um, and about a third of the price. So maybe this one's a good buy too. Let's pull it back. 90 days and see where we're at. So I'd like to pull that back because that was before the season. Oh, he's okay. Yep. Look at this. So he started the season. Well, the first date on here is 260. Call it, you know, somewhere. Let's call it 250 on average. And they ticked up till the season started. By the way, it, what I'm using here, this, this is the market movers tool. If you like this and you see the value in this, this is the most important thing I use in sports card investing. It makes me the most money, saves me from making the most mistakes, and saves me from losing the most money. It mostly makes me the most money. And it's just a lot of fun to use to find undervalued cards. And so this market movers tool, if you like it, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever subscription you choose. Now, this kind of shows me that, again, like I was saying with the prison, it kind of looks, the data looks to me like it hit a bottom. And like, I don't think it goes much lower than that. If anything, it starts ticking up. And this optic here shows me the same thing. Looks like it's been hovering around 200 bucks. And now it's start, starting to tick up to 212. Now, does that mean it's gonna keep going up? No. Does it mean it's gonna go back down? No. But this just looks like, this is this looks like a base to me. This looks like a flat line. Like it's not gonna go much below this in my opinion. And it's encouraging to see it going up like this. So I'm gonna leave a link to this one in the description too. Because this one looks like, again, if you're going to ever buy a Zion Optic, now seems to be the time. 255 or best offer, 229 Yeah, you, it, this is definitely a lot of opportunity on this one. Number five, Zion again. So let, look at this. Zion, a lot of this is just showing me buys. If you believe in Zion, buy Zion right now is what this data is telling me. Because look at this, three of the top five are all Zion cards in terms of the most sales. So the market is buying Zion, right? So they're saying, listen, these prices have gotten to a spot where I just have to buy them. I got to buy his Prism. I got to buy his Optic. I got to buy his Mosaic. You know, 81 Mosaic, 83 Optic, 132 sales of the Prism. Uh, and those, it's just, it just, it's just such a strong indicator. I mean, the Mosaic still went down this week 9.2. 246. So let's check out that chart and see what it looks like. Mosaic would be the 
the weakest of the three, or the, or the lowest value of the three between prism optic and mosaic. So let's have this chart pull up here and take a look. Started the week at 160, ended the week at 146. Mm -hmm, pop of 5200. So not a crazy high pop. I mean, the prism's at 15,000. Let's pull this back 90 days. So 90 days ago, he was at 180 with this card. And he got up to a high, of course, when the season started of 250. And it's been going down ever since. Is it at a bottom? I don't know if it's at, well, what was it on this date here? So this is 25th of January. So this is well over two weeks ago, damn near three weeks ago. It was at 160. And today, the latest sale was 146. So not a crazy change. It looks like you can see the acceleration of decline from from here from the from New Year's from Christmas Eve at 253 the acceleration of decline goes down to about a bottom of 135 literally 30 days later well one month later it's 31 days later on the 24th of January to 135 that's quite an acceleration of a uh, deceleration excuse me of value or acceleration of devaluing whatever way you want to put it but then it hits that and it it's been kind of staying above that now for what is that i mean basically three weeks staying at that so maybe we are at a flat line with this card too interesting again another indicator this may be a buy so i'm gonna freaking leave a link up i'm gonna leave a link in the description for this card for you too because it's like if you like zion which i mean i don't hate zion um i think his hype was just too unreal for anyone to live up to, and I think it's finally come back down to earth into a realistic one. Why I think he's got a shitload of potential, but like he was just overvalued, and now I think he's come back down to earth. And these prices look like to me. Let's, let's see, are the Pelicans? What are, what's the Pelicans' record right now? Because we're what we're third through the season standings. They just lost to them eleven and fourteen, so that puts them where. Twelve, so they're not. Is he? Does top eight go to the playoffs? So they're out of it right now. Mavericks. Well, Mavericks have been creeping up. Grizzlies, Pelicans, Mavericks. That's interesting, but they're not terribly far away. You know, go, you go on a little bit of a win streak. Of someone, Nugget Warriors lose a couple games. Pelicans win a couple games. All of a sudden, or, or they're in here. Something like that. And so I, I wouldn't count them out by any means. Timberwolves, you can go ahead and count them out. Thunder, I have a hard time. Thunder and Rockets, I have a hard time. But Pelicans have so much talent with Zion and Ingram. Grizzlies got Jaw. Hopefully Jaron Jackson comes back. Kings got some talent. I see Kings going down, though. Mavericks obviously have talent. Warriors obviously have talent. All these other teams have talent. So that's interesting to look at that. But even if, even if they sniff, like, even if they're like, people are like, oh, you know, they're in the running, they're in the running. Like, people will start reaching for hope. As we get closer to the playoffs, let me get some coffee. And I just, I just don't see these cards going down much more. So, anyways, Kobe White. All right, Kobe White, 2019 Prism Base PSA 10 down 2.2 percent on the week. 80 sales. Let's chart this card. I don't know how long this video is out. My software doesn't show me. But you know, if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that my videos are usually 20 to 30 minutes. But I give some great content. Like I really dive in deep. Like I don't need to dive in like all this and show you all of this i could just sit here and say yeah number one zion number two's luca three and just talk a little bit but i want to dive in and really give you value and by the way if you think this is good like this is good content you should see what i give the society if you think this is good i give the society the goody goods because i dive in way deeper the videos aren't long they're only like five minutes but as i just show my findings but i'm saying that i dive in very deep and i find the real 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 good opportunities and I uh, and I show show the card I like, and I show my findings. You know, it's only about a five minute video, and typically, and sometimes I do like a master class. Like the other day, I did a fifty minute, fifty five zero minute master class, outlining some pretty heavy stuff to really help them with their decision making and and research 
analyzing and all that stuff. Um, so it, it was a class. Like I could sell that class as a course. Uh, and they just get it as being part for nine ninety nine a month. Plus they get the access to the private Discord, a community of some really active, smart investors and discount PSA grading. $9.99 is cheap. $99 a year is cheap. Uh, that's why I'm going to be raising the price because I want to add even more value into it. And in order to do that, I need to be able to fund it. So, and um, that, that's, that's my reasoning. So get it before the price goes up. It is ridiculously undervalued in my opinion. I mean, I, I try to add so much goddamn value in there um, that you're just not going to find anything like it. I mean, maybe you watch some other YouTube channels. I'm sure you do. Maybe some of them offer a, a, a membership or something. What are they? They give you a newsletter once a week. Are you, and are you kidding? That's it? And, and access to their Discord? A newsletter once a week? I give a video almost every day. Exclusive video. Anyways, I, I just think that that blows a newsletter out of the water, but whatever. All right, let's dive back in. Please give this video a like if you're still watching. You're awesome, by the way, Card Pack. Um, so let's pull this back 90 days. Well, actually, let's look. Started uh, the week at 106. End of the week at 105. I mean, it just keeps showing me... We're going to pull this back 90 days. It just keeps showing me that the prison market is probably bottomed out. And if there was ever a time to get back... Please, people have been going crazy on vintage, myself included. I've been buying up vintage um, because there's still undervalued vintage to be found. Um, last night, I spent almost uh, $2,000. Well, it wasn't all on vintage, but um, over 1000 of it was on, on vintage cards. I mostly bought some Durants that I thought were really undervalued. And Well, he's not vintage. I just, I mean legends. Like, his legacy is cemented. And I'm going to be buying some Currys. And, um, you know, I, there's still a lot of good opportunity out there. But anyways, I think modern has just been neglected and has been able to deflate and I think it's just hitting its bottoms and I'm going to be buying I bought some modern last night too um but I spent more on vintage because vintage or legacy legend um just kind of cost more in general um 173 bucks 90 days ago today 105 and it looks like again he had a he had a jump up here I don't know what he did early January but he must have done something maybe he had a 40 point game or something I know he's had one or two of those this year, and then it's been rapidly declining. Uh, maybe it keeps going down. I don't know. Pop count of only five, five, six, eight. So not, nothing near Zion or Jaw. Um, depends on what you think of Kobe White. Um, Kobe White's not my favorite player, but I mean, he, he, I can't deny it. He's got some potential. It's just that he's on the Bulls, and the Bulls just bother me. I guess. Um, let's let's chart this back thirty days. And see if this card is flatlined. It just looks to me like Prism has flatlined, has hit its bottom, is what it looks like to me. So it's like, will it go back up? Of course, in my opinion, of course it's going to go back up. It always goes up and down. That's what, it's not like it goes down forever or it goes up forever. That's just not the way it ever works. It just needs um, gas put on the fire or water thrown on the fire. And that's what makes it go up and down. And as we get closer to the playoffs and gain clarity of who's going to make the playoffs. That is, that's the gas. Um, but even if, I don't know how much, if I see Kobe White cards going under 100 bucks. I'm not going to leave a link to the description in this one. Because maybe it still keeps going down by the look of it. So, uh, I can't, because it's still like on this pace. It started to kind of do a thing here, but it did it up here too. And then it kept going down. So I wouldn't, I'm not going to give you a link to that one. If you want to get it, go find it yourself. LeBron James 2019 Prism PSA 10 up 19.3%. So this is his Lakers rookie, his first Prism in his Lakers jersey. I have several of these. Um, I will say that I overpaid for some of them back uh, in the bubble. I mean, I made profit overall on all of them combined, but I still have some. That's a just in case. And they, uh, I definitely lost money on some of them. But... The PSA 10 started the week at 89, and it looks like it's jumped up to 118. What's up, Ronnie? Let's go here. Let's go back. Let's back 60 days. See what this card has done. I hope you're enjoying this content. Smash that like button if you're still watching. And I want to remind you, you're awesome. 108 bucks 60 days ago, and right now it's going for... About 108 bucks. I mean, 118 was the last sale. That was quite a jump up from 90. 
So actually, it's it's down overall. I think it's probably about an eighty-five dollar card. I just, I you know, maybe I'm just a little. This card didn't do what I thought it was going to do, and I just expect this card to God, I don't know what. So I wouldn't recommend buying it. I'm not going to leave a link to this one in the description either. Trey Young 2018 Prism. Now this one might be. Because, again, like I was saying, Prism seems to hit a bottom to me. He's down 6.8% on the week. His Prism PSA 10, rookie, 2018. Mr. Trey Young, who I think is actually undervalued. He had a lot of hype coming into the season, but I don't think it got too crazy. Like, Trey, Trey's a top 10 scorer in the league right now. And, top, and I don't know, he, he might be top 3 in assist. So, um, let's go check that out real quick. Let's go to NBA Reference. Another website that I use. It's free. Let's pull it on up. What's he got for rebounds on the year? Or, excuse me, assists. So he's averaging 26.5 points. That's great. Assists, 9.2. Um, obviously, his defense is not great. His rebounds about 4, about what I would expect. 9.2. Let's go to NBA Stat Leaves and see where he ranks. I saw his game the other day. He had 16 assists. I mean, what? go here. See if ESPN will give us the goods. Let's go by assist. James Harden, I think, is leading the way. You know, sword or what? Yeah, Trey's number three. And then Luca, number two. I mean, and then for points, I think Trey's like number eight. Well, I just had it up. Where is he? No. Oh, shit. Where is he? 26. Oh, wow. There's a lot of 26 points. So he's 14, so between 15 to 10, it's they're different. It's they're all at 26 point something. Well, there's been a lot of good scores this year. Jesus, Bradley Beal leading the way, of course, just blowing it up on a terrible team that can't win an effing game. Curry is just amazing. Durant, I mean, wow. Anyways, let's go back to what do I got here? Is that the trade? No. So let's pull him back 90 days. Take a look, see. Ninety days ago, he was six oh three. So he's done that same Zion Luca jaw thing, where he's down here, well below where he was ninety days ago. Uh, he hit a height of eight twenty three, and now he's down here at four sixty two. Um, let's pull this back thirty days. So I think that he's kind of flatlined, bottomed out too. Thirty days, and he's been going down for thirty days. What's the date here? The ninth. I just don't think he has too much. I mean, the accelerate the acceleration there, of decline, is there, but I just I just feel like this is probably about the bottom. I don't see it going. I definitely don't see it going below four hundred. So if you ever wanted a, and the pop count's only eight thousand four hundred, which isn't small, but comparatively to like Zion and Luca, it is. Uh, so I'll leave a link to that one too. These prisms, I think they just I think they've pretty much bottomed out. Donovan Mitchell. I think he ends no, he's 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 number nine on the list. Donovan Mitchell 2017 Prism PSA 10 up 31% on the week. Let's take a look at Donovan Mitchell. I mean, by the way, like Luca, Zion, Ja, Trey, it, they put up a 50 point game, which is very possible for any of them. Um, just you just watch that prism or any of their cards just go boom, at least temporarily. So Donovan started the week at 370. He's got up to 447. Okay, let's uh, let's pull him back 60 days. See where he is at. So 60 days ago, he was at 391. He he didn't really have a big spike leading into the season. I mean, sure, I guess there 448, but he's been overall pretty flat. And this big spike here. This isn't one that I would I would recommend buying. Not that I'm necessarily saying, hey, go buy the other ones. I'm saying that I see opportunity there. Make your own decisions, of course. Tyler Hero, 2019 Prism, PSA 10, rookie, eight, down 18.8%. This is the last one on the list, number 10. Let's chart it. See what it's done. So it started the week at 200, and it's gone down to 164. Why do I, I just feel like he's still living off of 
what he did in the playoffs last year. Because what, what has he done this year? I, I don't know if I want to go look. Well, he started the 90 days ago. He was at 255, and now he's at 164. Not a card that I'm buying. I just I don't buy Tyler Hero. I just I just don't. I feel like he got too overhyped from those playoff games. It would have been a good time to sell back then. I just I'm not even gonna look at his stuff. So the cards that I thought were are worth taking a look, I'll put those in the description with the nice uh, you know eBay search thing there, so you can actually find them and not have to go through all the bullshit. Um, so we had Tyler Hero at ten, Donovan Mitchell, Trey Young, LeBron James, Kobe White, Zion, Zion, Ja, Luca, Zion. So people are certainly, I think that the prisms have bottomed out. I think that basically everything of the of the 20, of the Luca Trey, Ja, Zion uh, have like bottomed out. And probably the associated rookies with them. But those are the ones that I would, you know, I'm not really buying any of the other ones. Not that they're, not that Luca and Trey or Zion and Ja are rookies anymore, but you know what I mean, they're rookie cards. So it looks to me just kind of like they've bottomed out. And if there was a time to buy, it would probably be now. Um, so I'm going to dive a little deeper into that and decide what exactly I want to buy, but I'll leave links to the, in the description to them. Again, the sports card society, I think it's the best membership in sports cards. So join it links in the description price is going to be going up sports card society.com. Uh, if you like this market movers tool here, if you, if you're in, seriously about sports card investing, like you have to have this, uh, I'll leave a link for it in the description, the market movers tool use code society for 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever subscription you choose. And then um, just stay classy. I love you, Card Pack. You're so great. You're awesome.